everyone. Welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. To book a private session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Today, I will be uploading Taurus versus Capricorn, and I'm doing a love reading for Scorpio. So if you are not yet a member of the Femacy Lighthouse VIP, I will put the link for you to join in the comment section. Also, I'm giving away a free 30-minute private session on June 15th. If you're interested in joining the raffle, all you have to do is become a follower of the Femacy Lighthouse pre-show on Instagram. If you are already a follower, just send me a DM stating that you would like to be a part of the raffle. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. So we have the Four of Wands energy coming out here first, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Talk to me about this Four of Wands energy. The Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. One more, please. The Four of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. At the bottom of the deck here, we have your fire sign, okay? I don't know who this fire sign is. Maybe you are the fire sign. Whole lot of fire all of the time here, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for some of you, your person could heavily have fire in their chart as well. Now, with the Four of Wands energy, obviously, this speaks to happiness, bliss, people getting along, things going the way that they should be getting. This is 1111 energies matching up. But with the Ten of Swords right next to it, it's not what it seems, all right? So who is that around you that may be in a situation that is convenient but could be taking a strain on their mental health, okay? So it's like somebody's in a situation that looks good, okay? The position probably pays a lot of money, but... Is it good for this person's mental health? Does this person see themselves in this position for the long run? Does this situation have longevity? Okay, it's something like that. Metaphorically speaking, I may not be talking about someone at work, but what I feel is it looks good and people think it's good, but it's causing a lot of mental conflict for someone around you, all right, with the Ten of Swords energy. It's like somebody's drained, they're exhausted. We also have this Four of Swords energy. This is contemplation, somebody trying to figure out how they can revive something or go back to some experience that they're looking to have again. But this position that they're in in the recent past is heavily on their mind and it looks good. I don't know why they're so concerned about how it looks to other people. Yes, it pays good, but someone's miserable there. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, the money's good, but I can't stand the staff and I feel like this is not where I truly belong. So now I have to do research as to what it is that I truly do want because someone feels out of place. That's what I'm getting. All right, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for others. Tell me more. Talk to me about what's so draining about this situation. Talk to me about the Ten of Swords. The Strength card, you see? Leo energy. There could be a Leo as well that is overthinking a lot, very stressed out, wanting to really make some changes, but those changes are not happening. And it's like, there's disappointment that I'm feeling from a Leo, okay? It's like, they don't wanna be in a certain place anymore, but they feel like they need to stay there. Okay, it's like, it's time to move on, move out, or switch things up. A lot of the time, fixed energies like Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, 
we like to keep things how they are. And sometimes transition could be a bit of an obstacle, okay? Even for Scorpio that is known, you know, to have comfortable experiences when in turmoil or turmoil that causes transition. But I feel like someone needs to step outside of their comfort zone is what this is speaking to in the recent past. And they're thinking about it. They're contemplating making some type of move that seems to be a risk in the recent past. Tell me more. Tell me more about this energy in the recent past. So we have the Page of Pentacles coming out here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have Pisces energy with somebody's wish, all right? It's like someone is going to want to win at all costs, all right? So I feel like somebody may leave a job, may leave a position, may take a pay cut so that they could be happier. Something like that could be happening to someone. Someone could be changing fields, changing career paths. And if someone feels stuck in a situation, I see them not completely ending that situation right away, but there's plans on how to make their way around it, all right? It, it's a very complex energy. It's, it's this energy of somebody feeling stuck, knowing that there needs to be some other type of action that they need to take, but they're not sure if they're ready to do that, but they're trying to figure out what else they can do to alleviate themselves until they finally made that final choice. Yeah, it's very complex. But someone is going to go after their dreams or who they wish to be with, with the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. This person is thinking about what they really want, who they really want. They're not happy with who they are or what they're doing in the recent past. It's like they feel that there's something else they belong doing. There's someone else they belong with. So I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with. Of course, these energies are interchangeable. Spirit, talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Talk to me about the present here. The Page of Wands energy, a message is sent to you or you are sending a message to someone. There's the desire here for someone to communicate with you or you to communicate with them. You both wanna communicate with each other is what I'm getting. Page of Wands, the messenger. Tell me more. So we have Capricorn energy coming out here. Somebody's looking for you or they're going to be looking for you. I don't know if this is your friend. I don't know if this is somebody that you know from high school. I don't know if you grew up with them. I feel like you grew up with this person. I feel like they've been around for a long time. You're going to be hearing from them. They want to talk to you. And they could be in this place right here where it looks all good. It seems like it's all good, but not really because somebody's over there feeling like this, Ten of Swords energy, feeling burnt out. And all they keep thinking about is their wish. They're going to go for it. You know? I really feel that they're going for it. Tell me more. It sounds like I said no, but I said you know. Just in case you guys are wondering. So... Clarify this page of wands. Tell me more about this is what they're looking for. Taurus, every day here, somebody is trying to be all up in your face like, yes, this is what I want, Taurus. I want to win you over. 
if it's not a past person, this person that you're communicating with, they want to win you over. If it's a past person, they're interested in another chance. And you see how confident he is. Like he knows he can do it. There's a message coming into you from this person or they desire to communicate with you. I feel like you're open to communicating with this person. I feel like you're willing to drop the animosity. I feel like you're willing to hear them out. Tell me more. And it gets better and better. So we have the Ace of Cups coming out here. Yeah, this is somebody that will not let you go. They want to pursue you and you are what they want. You are their nine of cups. Continuation of yesterday's reading. You are the one for this person, even if they're not with you, because I feel like for some of you, they're not with you and they're faking it over here, right? Trying to make it seem like it's all good, right? You see the castle in the background, celebration, happiness there. But coming out next to the Ten of Swords, I'm not convinced. And I don't feel that you are either. So what they want to do is talk to you. And they would like to do that as soon as possible. And they're looking to pursue you. If it's not a past person, you have somebody in your environment that is not going to let you go, that does not want to let you go, and you're feeling the pressure. We could be talking about a Virgo, an Aries, a Gemini, a Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Talk to me about the future. Ace of Wands, Opportunity, Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Hermit. There goes the Hermit again. So it's going to be very private. This encounter is private. Not everyone is going to know about it. If you are communicating with them, that's going to be very discreet. They... In the present moment, I feel they are talking to someone about you. That's how bad they miss you. That's how bad they want you. It's like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this because I can't contain myself. And that's what I really want. That's who I really want. Something like that is going on. I just feel like with the hermit being present here, Something has to be kept quiet. Like I was saying yesterday, I believe the hermit was one of the first cards out. So I was wondering why someone had to keep something quiet, right? Why is that? That's the true question. Clarify the hermit. Spirit, clarify... The Hermit. Why is that, Spirit? The Nine of Swords, tell me more. The Tower. Goodness, wow. So, look at what keeping quiet is doing to somebody. They can't contain it anymore. They don't want to be away from you. They don't want to be apart. They need to come and speak to you. Obviously, there's a lot that they have to say. Look at all of the swords indicating all of the thoughts that are unexpressed. It's causing them a tower. They don't want to be quiet anymore. I don't see them being quiet in the future. I see you and this person having conversations that are going to be very discreet because that's what this whole thing is saying. It's saying that there's somebody over here that's drained in a place or a position that 
other people may like and the position seems to be good but internally somebody is drained by the situation or by a person this person keeps thinking about what they really want under the four of swords is the nine of cups under the nine of cups is the page of pentacles which is you they're thinking about you you are the one that they are wishing to connect with in the present moment we have the ace of cups the magician the page of wands to the four of pentacles i believe that you are in this energy right now of trying to protect yourself from this person they are trying to make it very clear to you that they're manifesting you in the future i see them reaching out to you they are the hermit you both may be in this hermit energy. I feel like eventually you both will because there's this element of having to keep things very private. Anything else for Taurus? Anything else? Hmm. Six of Cups, someone you already know. You know this person. And it's been difficult since you left or since there's been distance between you and this person. You both have been going through it. Not only you, Taurus. It's like this person can't be without you. They don't want to be without you. They may not be telling you, but that doesn't mean that they're not feeling this way. They are feeling the Ten of Wands. You are feeling the Eight of Cups. You're both in your feelings about not being on the same page while desiring each other like crazy. You know, it's something like that. Let's see what happens. All right. So to book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.